Imagine this, a space which houses about 25,000 refugees, which is crowded, where young people and children are oftentimes idle, a place which has no electricity, where people queue up for their rations, or where people fight to get access to water. But now imagine this, in that very same place where there is despair, where sometimes there's hopelessness and there's frustration, there is also agency, there's optimism, and there is hope. Hi, I'm Vidur Chopra and I'm a doctoral student at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. This past summer, I had one of the most humbling experiences of my life. I spent the summer in an Ethiopian refugee camp at the border of Ethiopia and Somalia. I worked in these refugee camps through an international nonprofit called Save the Children. There were 150,000 refugees who had crossed over the border barefoot with little or nothing at all. And of these, 100,000 were just children. While one may think that in a refugee camp, learning is impossible and that no educational opportunities exist for children, this was indeed not the case. While I was there, I found that there was a quest to learn, that young children and parents both were equally motivated and enthused about learning. Uh, and at the same time, there was a mushrooming of private learning centers, of places that had been formed by individuals within the camps. These centers had developed organically, and these were places where young people were coming to learn. Uh, and at the same time, uh, adolescents and youth had the opportunity to be able to teach the younger children in these particular uh, camps. One of the things that I'm really interested in is how is it that young people develop the capacities to be able to learn within school and outside within their communities as well. I especially want to acknowledge the contribution of my advisor, Fernando Reimers, for he truly encouraged and egged me on to sort of undertake action and to make sure that I was translating all the learning from my classroom into a real life context. So I specifically call on you, and I call on education leaders of this world to rethink business in conflict settings. I think it's important that we understand that young people have the skills and they have the motivations to be able to make a difference in their lives and the lives of their communities. But at the same time, it's equally important that we provide them with the platform and the programs that help them and that empower them to be able to do this.